go, it's the next high tide coming in after the last night. Starting to splash over the wall. But this was absolutely flooded last night. I'll go over to the other side. That's Southampton in the distance. Uh, just coming up to where I live, this is our green. This was literally under water last night. Let me show you about the houses as well, for those who are interested where I live. It's Coast Guard Station, Victoria Barracks. Here's the Coast Guard Station, which is one of the houses that I live in. Boat launch is where we just see. The barracks are just up the road. And that's what they look like. They've actually just been renovated this year to be put back in to action. Um, I think a sailing place is going to be taking it over. It's a listed building. And then obviously Queen Victoria's boat there as well. But these are Coast Guard cottages. These are designed by Prince Albert. And the inside in the actual roof, uh, the trusses are from a Portuguese um, battleship, which was sunk by the Royal Navy in years back. But you can see the grass how it's laying down from where the water was flooded over last night. The road's not closed yet. They didn't close it last night. They just protected the town and forgot about us down here. Because last year, a couple of years ago where the bushes are there was another hedge there which they said was untidy which in fact was nothing wrong with it and with them doing it they flattened it all out which then sent the water into our gardens with a fluid of flood pineapple trees as they call them as you can see, uh, the grass is just literally flooded all the way over. I woke up at half past 12. Yeah, and it, it, it was coming over. You see the water splashing over the walls already. There are worms in there, I don't know if you can see them. The worms all coming out, see the white thing? All gone. Which doesn't help. The irrigation. It is just flooded. When we got flooded the last time, uh, when they cut the old bushes down, that house there uh, was lucky enough to have brick wall put up for them while the rest of us were given shoddy bushes. Well, these are the second bushes since the original, which was blocking the houses, was taken down. We lose this grass now, it will go horrible. Oh, so yeah. We're now just waiting for the next tide.
which isn't going to be long. Let's take a walk down a little bit further to see. What we can see, we can see the water is coming over the wall. And this is what causes it, where it's not so much when the tide will come over the wall, it's the water which has been splashed over persistently. Drains are now full. That's West Cow's over there, by the way. Um, this year, the water just out that way is where the America's Cup actually began. And the building in the far distance, literally on the edge there, that's the Royal Yacht Squadron, which is what the Queen used to go to in Prince Philip with the Britannia moored off outside here. So at the moment, it doesn't look like it's going to be as bad as it was last night, but there's still enough damage. It's slug even. But the nature we're losing. Now this here, this is a propeller off of HMS Cavalier. Where is HMS Cavalier? She's actually now a museum at Chatham. In Kent, Medway. There's been some uh, major ships built in cows and these cows. So back, back as 1696, HMS Pool. Sitting empty house, but this is also where the Polish ship Wieska was built up that river up there. This was a thriving shipping yard. It was actually attacked during the Blitz, and it was saved by the Polish ship Wieska. Here we go, the propeller. There's a plaque on the bottom. Let's have a. This propeller, which came from HMS Cavalier, was donated to the people of East Cows by Southern Water. HMS Cavalier Association has presented its memorial recognising the ship builders of J. Samuel Wright and the sailors who gave their lives for this country. This propeller and memorial garden. Drum roll by Rear Admiral J. Harvey, CBOBE, and Councillor Solworthy, BA, on the 27th of May 1995. But yeah, that is some propeller. What your average boat. And the garden. Yeah, this will be one of the old water fountains back in the Victorian days. You don't see many of these. They've got one similar to this over in Cows as well, but that would have been gas. The wind is strong today. There's a plaque on it. Let's have a the memorial of Mr. and Mrs. West Cow Shedden of Millfield East Cows. This fountain is erected by one of the family. Wow. Lovely. 
don't think the taps work anymore. There's the mighty flag waving in the wind. We've changed a few of these flags during the year because obviously the winds just tear it to pieces, but this is a that one's a green nose. That's the last, that's the original. Coming over more frequent. It most definitely isn't as hard tide as it was last last night. Show you what's left of my garden. Gives you an idea of how shabby the walls are. Just coming out of it like a water feature. It's risky by here. You might splash a bit, but hey ho. We're expecting 70 mile an hour winds today. Along with a high tide. It does not bode well. It's just an endless flow, it's just... So imagine the water last night was over this wall. The road, the path, and over the wall, that was literally the only thing to divide us from the sea was the right bit on top of that wall. And this is what's left of the garden. Last, you know, what we showed last night. Like 
out there having a bit of fun. You can do it, get our bikes out and ride through it. Don't know what you can pick up when we're talking because of the, the winds, but the green, the road. Next tide's coming in now. You can see it splashing over the wall already. Someone's left their car there. 